What's up, y'all? It's the one and only, the lovely Kat Sia, and I'm getting ready for work. So, y'all, get ready with me. What? Get ready with me. What? What? Get ready with me. Get ready with me. Get ready with me. So, y'all, my week has been pretty good, but it's just been dragging. Today is my Friday, but next week they got me on the schedule like crazy, like as if I don't have a life. Foundation I'm using is Born This Way, the matte version, and what color, and Spiced Rum. But yeah, y'all, they got me on the schedule like crazy this week. This is just my quick little, I have somewhere to be, let's get this beat going um, look. So, cause I need to be at work soon, but yeah. Y'all, I am just so ready <sighs> to go on another vacation. Like, I was looking at my other, my old videos from when I went to Houston for my birthday. And that was the last time I took, like, a legit trip somewhere. And stayed in a hotel and, you know, playing little cute little thingies. Like, you know. Went to restaurants and stuff that I ain't never ate at before in another city. Like, I need to do that again. It's been entirely too long. Like, literally, it's been way too long. Way too long. Got a girl stressing. Like, I need to go out somewhere to another city and have some fun with some of my girls or even my family. Honestly, I really don't care. Just somewhere. Usually my family will go on um we'll go on vacations and stuff. We'll usually go on a trip at least like once a year. Like we'll go somewhere for a week or two weeks. And sometimes it'll be in states, um, not in state as in North Carolina, but in the US. And then um other times it'll be outside the US. So we've been of course we went to Europe because I have family in Europe. Um, and the Francophone speaking parts because I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's a French speaking country. So, of course, some of my family members, when they left that country, relocated to French speaking countries. Um, but yeah, and I went to, I guess, the Francophone parts of Europe. We've been to Cancun so many times. Like, that's somewhere we always go back to. We love Cancun. Like, literally, we love Cancun. And the first resort that we went to when we went out there was my favorite resort. Out of all the times we went, we go to all-inclusive resorts every time we go to Cancun. And the first resort that we went to is literally, like, my favorite. If I go back out there by myself, I'm going to that one. Like, I'm going to that one. I don't even care because... The other ones was cool. It wasn't nothing wrong with the other ones. You you feel me? It wasn't nothing wrong with them, but I want to go back to that one. That one I had the best time. The staff felt like family. Like the staff was so nice. I felt like I knew them my whole life. I said, okay. Okay, staff. Like that's a vibe. I don't want to feel like weird. You know? You want to feel comfortable and resorts, they're supposed to make you feel comfortable. Like you're on vacation and the other resorts didn't make me feel uncomfortable, but it's just like that resort really made me feel like, I guess, welcomed and celebrated. And it was just super fun. Like all the employees were super fun. So y'all literally I need to hurry up because I'm not trying to be late for work. <laughs> I'm not even in the mood to work today, to be quite honest. But it's a short shift. I'm literally coming in to close. It's a four-hour do wop wop shift, child. But I ain't mad at it. It's four more hours on my next paycheck. Hello. But yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I wouldn't mind going to um Cancun again if I were to go on a trip. But I kind of want to go to um I kind of want to go to maybe like 
Miami. I've never been, but I don't want to go during spring break time. Like, I'm not trying to go during spring break time. I'm not trying to go out there and act a fool with the girls. I want to go when it's still nice out. And, of course, Miami, I think, stays nice all year long. I'm pretty sure. I've never been out there, and I've never really paid attention to whether they do or don't. But I want to go when it's not spring break time. I'm not trying to deal with all that, y'all. I'm just not. I know a lot of people love going during that time period where everybody and their mama is there, but no thank you. But yeah, I really want to, I'm trying to find something to fan my face with. Let me use this card. Oh no, I'm probably not it. Anyway, but yeah, I want to go out there and just turn it up and have some fun and like go to nice restaurants, go on the beach. Maybe do some excursions, you know, them little, um, in Cancun, we did those little thingies, you know, them little water jet skis. I want to do that in Miami too. Like just find cute little things to get into, cute little lounges. Like that's what I want to do. I also want to go back to Houston. I went to Houston for my birthday and it was so much fun. I wasn't really YouTubing then and I have some videos, but it's not enough content to post about. So I'm probably going to spin the block on Houston anyways. Because that was like a lot of fun. Went to a concert. Tried a bunch of restaurants. Went to a bunch of lounges. Like it was really cute. It was really fun. It was really a vibe. We even made like friends out there. Me and my girls that went out with me. We made, we made a friend on the airplane ride to Houston. And we met people out there while we were out there. And it was so much fun. Like, it was so much fun. So, I may go back out there. Like, Houston's always a good time. Um, Where else do I want to go? I've never been to the West Coast, y'all. I've been out of the U.S. more than once. But I've never been to the West Coast. Like, honestly, I'm that person. I've explored more parts outside of the U.S. than I have in the U.S. So, I'm trying to explore more, like places or I guess tourist sites in the U.S. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I make my rounds. Maybe I'll go to Cali. Um, where else do I want to go? Bump it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not, I've been to New York. New York was cool, but I went with family. So I want to go with friends and like, you know, see what it's like. Because we went out there, um, visited family. It wasn't really like us seeing much of the city we went to Times square and did a little shopping but i would like to spend a little more time out there and get a vibe or feel you know so that's something i would like to do um what else um, i want to go to dr i haven't been to dr and i kind of want to go to um i want to go to like just a bunch of the island spots like all the little islands and junk out there i want to go to all the little island spots that's what i want to do just a little something to wake up my under eyes. And then I put a little bit right here. A little triangle, a little something, a little swig right here. But yeah, anyways, I'm trying to hurry up. This is not a little quick beat. I got to be some more makeup. I ain't no makeup artist, y'all. I just be doing a little something, something. I do enough for my face. And honestly... I feel like people with makeup, like, you got to realize it's what works for you. Sometimes what other people do for their face ain't going to work for your face. So you got to figure out your own rhythm. You got to figure out what it is you're trying to do that fits your face and make sure you don't look crazy. Now, if I'm making an MUA cringe out there somewhere, sorry. <laughs> I am not a professional makeup artist. But, yeah, anyways. That's what I was originally saying. I need to clean my beauty blenders, y'all. Don't judge. Don't judge me or whatever Chris Brown said. But yeah, um, I want to go to like all the little islands and junk out there, like all the cute little islands by all that. I'm trying to be out there on somebody's warm, sandy, beautiful beach. That's something I want to do. I'm afraid, though, that everything going to shut down again. I'm praying that it doesn't because another shutdown? Like, no. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, oh. I don't know if I can take that. <laughs> like, y'all, I don't know how I can deal with that. How y'all feeling about it? If another shutdown happened, would y'all be, like, good? Would your mental health suffice? Are you going to be at peace? Like, I don't know. 
But yeah, y'all, I'm just trying to travel. Long story short, I need one more trips and things anyways. And I need more travel friends. I mean, of course, I'm grateful for the ones I travel with now, but I need more friends who to, to travel with so we can like have big old groups and travel to different fun places together and just have a great time, you know? <sighs> Sightsee. I want to go back to Europe. It's been a minute. Um, It's been a, a good old minute since we've been. When the last time we went? It had to be two or three years ago was the last time. Two or three. Maybe a little more than that. Anyways, but yeah. Oof. I am just so like, I don't know. I saw this post or whatever. It was talking about how a lot of people, a lot of people are more burned. Dang, can't see it. Can you talk? Anyways, I had to get myself together real quick. But a lot of people are like more burned out than they think. And I can relate to that. Like, I really can relate to that because I didn't realize it. I've just been kind of like stressed, a little tired. And I've been prayerful about it. And that's, of course, helped me. And the Lord has sustained me through that. But I just noticed, like, I was just a little bit tired, a little, a little bit worn down. And also, I am adjusting to working again, like, a lot. Because I'm getting more and more hours, which is a good thing. I'll never complain about that. But it's you're adjusting from not working as much to working a lot. And I think that's something a lot of graduates can like resonate with from going part time to like full time. I'm not officially full time, but I'm working full time hours. So there's that. But that is something that I think a lot of new college grads and you know seniors and people who are about to graduate college can attest to that's like a shift and maybe the, there might be students who are already working full-time in school and the hardiest and the sturdiest salute to you because i could literally never but yeah i'm just adjusting i'm a little tired i noticed a few of my friends and counterparts on the socials and stuff are feeling the fatigue too so Y'all just keep pushing, keep going, be prayerful. Take the time you need to rest, of course, because literally I had a conversation with um someone today. Take the time you need to rest because rest is just as important as the hard work. If you're not rested, you're not gonna produce your best work. So make sure if you're burned out and you really don't got no more of yourself that you can give, that you take some time to recharge, regroup, reduce reuse recycle let me stop but um <laughs> um but no for real on some real time like take the time you need to recharge and get your life like you don't want to be out here dragging putting yourself in in distress child that's not what we're doing that's not what the girls do we don't do that we charge up okay we get ready and we go out there and we do our best work, okay? Because we're rested, and we're ready to go. Mm. But yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna be playing like, like I'm not supposed to be at work soon. And my manager sees this. I love you. Don't be mad. Leave the anger for tomorrow. Anyways, but um, I'm not gonna be late, y'all. I hope. Um. But yeah. Oh, oops, I'm not even talking about what I used. The um, concealer I used was the LA Pro Concealer in the fawn color. I mean, all the girls use it. Most of the girls. I won't say all because my sister don't like it. And then I'm about to use, um, what is this? The Fenty Beauty powder, the finishing powder pro filter in the shade Honey. Um, I'll be using this for my under eye. And then like whenever I'm, I guess, highlighting and stuff. I don't know all the fancy terms. I just be doing what works for me, child. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. But yeah, y'all. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. The school year's about to start. People are about to start moving in and stuff. 
I ain't going back to UNCC. My degree is 100% complete, y'all. So the only reason I'll be going back is to walk across that stage. I've already signed up for graduation. Praise the Lord, saints, because it's been a long time coming. But it's moving time, y'all. I'm excited for all of my, um, you know, internet besties who are moving in or going to college for the first time. College is such a cool experience. You'll meet lots of great people. Um, a lot of times you'll meet your for lifers in college. I mean, I met some people in, in college that I feel like are going to be in my life forever i also met a few people that i did think were gonna be in my life forever but ended up being temporary but that's just one of the things that comes with life you know the ins and the outs but you will form great connections and i'm sure you're gonna have an amazing time if you're going to a four-year for the first time and for the people who are going to um an early college or something um not an early college um like a wake tech like a community college don't feel bad don't feel weird i did that first too i went to wake tech you're gonna save a heck of a lot of money because these four years are expensive whether they're private whether they're in state whether they're out of state whatever these four-year institutions are not cheap my friend they are not cheap okay so you're gonna be saving a lot of money and you'll be able to have the same experiences like that they're having i promise you because when i was still out here trying to see what was going on or whatever the case may be. I was still able to go to homecomings and different things. I just went to the ones that were um, near where I was staying at. And there's gonna be plenty of, aside from that, there's gonna be plenty of people. This is the other powder I'm using for my full face in the shade of hazelnut before I continue my spiel from Fenty Beauty. But yeah, um, there there's gonna be plenty of people who are in your age group like i feel like a lot of people have that misconception that um community colleges are full of older people or whatever the case may be and let me get something um straight to your head first of all there's gonna be older people even at the four years too and it's not gonna be straight up older people or straight up younger people it's gonna be a mix of everybody you're gonna be able to encounter all kinds of people whether you're at a community college or a four year because when i was at a community college i met just as many like grown up grown ups as I did at my four year like but you're gonna meet just as many young people as you would at a four year like when I was at um Wake Tech it was so many people my age and I was so surprised I was like oh my gosh like this is actually like mad people in my age range like what oh my gosh and I, and I was just like wow I was freaking out for nothing now granted Nah, we ain't even going. <laughs> We're not even going to do that. I almost stepped into petty mode, but I decided leave it for never. We are going to choose the high road and not be petty. But yeah, so just know you're going to meet a lot of people and don't worry about it. Like going to a community college, ain't nothing wrong with going to no community college. Ain't nothing wrong with a little community community. I don't know. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Oh, no, I'm not going to use this one. If you guys care, this is the bronzer I'll be using by Fancy Beauty in the shade of Coco Naughty. Um, but I don't feel like using bronzer today. But yeah, y'all, don't even worry. College is going to be such a great experience. It's going to be super lit. And if you're a graduate or whatever, or you're about to graduate, just have faith in the next chapter that you're going to embark in. Stay close to God. <clears throat> stay close to God and just stay optimistic and do your best and try your best and know that you have plenty of life to live, plenty of, plenty of more living to do, opportunities to make, adventures to embark on. Like, you don't have to know everything that's going to come next. Just be present and do your best, you know? That's all we can do, right? Try our best, do our best. And yeah, don't, don't trip, y'all. Because a lot of people get um post-grad blues and all that. And I'm not saying that in like a condescending or knock it kind of way, but a lot of people do, like they do. And it's important to remember like, We are young, 
Yeah, graduating college is not something little, okay? That's a big milestone, all right? So be happy about that accomplishment. I use the um, Morphe setting mist, if anyone cares. But, um, but yeah, don't be, don't, don't knock yourself. And if you need to get a little therapy, talk to somebody, talk to somebody. Because I know a lot of people got hit hard by post-grad blues, like, but it's okay, life is not over. You have so much more life to live. You have so much time to accomplish things. Keep working hard and pushing towards the things you desire for your life. And whatever is meant for you is going to be yours. Just don't, don't be sad, y'all. We got this. All my graduates, we got this. All my graduates, we got this. Mm -hmm. I need to stop playing. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and put my lashes on. My mom has like all these natural gorgeous beauty marks and I usually just remake them with like, or something similar to, I don't know, I just be doing my little thing. Wherever I wanna put my face, I'll put them. But I usually use just like a mascara and take one of my little brushes and use the end and I'll do like a little doop where I want them. So we're gonna put one right here. We're gonna do one right there. We're gonna do one. Mm, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Just the two. I usually do like one, two, three, and then maybe one right here, but I'm gonna be at work wearing a mask, so why would I put it right here and right here so it can get smudged? No, thank you. Leave it for tomorrow. But yeah. Y'all. Mm. I am so ready to dag on. I'm just getting the cloudiness out my lashes. So it'll look, it won't look weird when I put my um, false lashes on. And I do have a lash business. We sell lashes, we sell lip glosses, but we're hoping to expand and sell other things. Our Instagram is VinLuxBeauty, V-I-N-L-U-X-E-B-U-D. So you should definitely shop with us. Um, check out the page, check out the lashes they're giving, check out the gloss they're giving. Get into that, okay, okay. But I'm not wearing my lashes today. I'm just doing a simple little something today. Nothing crazy. I love me a dramatic lash, so that's usually what I do, but I'm just going to work. So who cares, right? Right, leave it for tomorrow, <laughs> right? But yeah, y'all, ooh. I don't feel like going. And I actually like this job. Like, I actually like it. Compared to all my other jobs, my last job was full of a bunch of little childish children. Bless their heart. And then the manager was kind of like, ugh. He was a whole lot. And then the job before that, the manager was really, eh. It wasn't a bad job. The people there were cool, but the management was the annoying thing. Um, it's usually management, but at this job, <laughs> like most jobs, it's usually somebody in management who's just like super annoying. But this job is like almost everybody is cool from the staff to the management. Like no bad vibes. Everyone comes in, kikis, has fun. We all pull our weight. Like this is probably the best job I've had in a while and it pays well. So love that. I'm waiting for my lash glue to tack up. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me put it on, y'all. I don't be using tweezers. I don't, I'm this girl. Ooh, I need to do it in the mirror, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't got no mirror in front of me. I was trying to do it in the camera, but I can't do it in the camera. <laughs> I'll be back. Yes, honey. Yes, yes. I put my lashes on. Put my wig on, y'all, because I need to be out the door literally like yesterday, like 10 hours ago. I'm just kidding. No, but I need to be on my merry way. But yeah, lashes is on. Um... Yes, wig is on. I need to put my uniform on and I'm going to be on my merry way. But thank y'all for tuning in and getting ready with me for work. I love you guys. God loves you.